Hello everyone, welcome to Code Millennials. In this short video, I'll show you how to install the NVIDIA graphics driver on Deepin 15.7. Well, in my previous video, I talked about how to fix the NVIDIA related problem on Deepin 15.7, which you end up with a blank screen or having a cursor spin into infinity or inactive windows, mostly when you log in after your fresh installation so i'll leave the i'll leave the link in the description below so you can go check out the video if you're facing the same problem then in the video i also talked about how to install bumblebee solution so in this very video i will be showing you how to install the nvidia driver because if you're using this then uh, you must have experienced your PC lagging or your PC being very slow. So, first, what we have to do is check out if the PC is detecting our NVIDIA card or graphics card. And to do that, we have to first install, have to install NVIDIA Detect. If you already have that in your PC, then it's so okay. I've already done this step, so you guys can see it's already installed. So what you have to do is after this, just type NVIDIA Detect, and it's gonna give you the information about your graphics card. All right. So if you watch closely towards this section. the it's talking about it's recommended to install the nvidia driver slash jesse back post which means that it's possible to install the nvidia driver here yeah, but we have to use the jesse back parts and to do that we simply have to add the jc back parts to a source to a sources list let's put it that way So we type sudo gedit then slash. I'll put this in the description. So all you have to do is just follow the step. Hit enter. Now we are in a sources list and we're gonna add this. And I also put this in the description. So we add this dev ftp the d okay. I'll spare you guys the details. So we are Installing the NVIDIA from Jesse Backpots. After we do that, we close it and update the PC. So the apps update. Okay, so once our update is complete. What we're gonna do next is type sudo apt install nvidia dash driver and we hit enter and this is gonna install the nvidia driver first Then on the second thought, if you don't want to install the NVIDIA driver using this method, then after after adding the the Jesse backport in your sources list, then you can simply come to use Prime Solution, hit switch, then it's gonna do the installation. But why I like doing this is gonna give you the NVIDIA settings and it's kind of pretty cool. But you can control the bolts from each side. So why is this is installing? I'll use this opportunity to ask how are you guys doing? Hope you had a good week. Over here the week is pretty 
path, but we will always survive. Okay, almost there. Hmm, few more minutes. Almost there. Right now. Okay. Free level town model is currently da 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 right. So what do you know? It is spacebar and it proceeds. Alright, so after the installation, all you have to do is restart your PC and you'll be using Prime Solution automatically. And that's it. Oh, come on, don't waste my time. So, guys, uh, the download speed will still determine how fast, um, will still fall back or determine how fast your internet is. But either way, you just have to exercise patience and it gets the job done. Alright, um, that's it guys, so after this then you restart your PC, but keep in mind once you restart your PC, everything is going to function properly, but the pin will give, you a, will give you a notification telling you that the sources list has been tampered with, so to save yourself from seeing that error or seeing that pop up, you go back to your sources list and I delete all add the I think you call it the ash key well just add this to it and it becomes inactive save so you can get the pop-up again so guys if this video was helpful please put a like and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching have a nice day